Welcome back to Diddly Squad Gaming, where gaming meets zero expectations. It it sounds a little weird, doesn't it, when I say it? Just because I say Diddly Squad Gaming and then I comma gaming. Anyways, um, <laughs> I gotta I gotta work on that. Um, maybe I just say Diddly Squad Gaming meets zero expectations. Some I don't know, something like that. Anyways. I don't even really have to say it, it's just a slogan I threw on my logo when I designed it a while back ago, so I thought maybe I should start incorporating that. So, um, oh, these little things, right? Anyways, so we're back in SnowRunner, obviously, and we are delivering sp spare parts and uh, wood, uh, wood planks, or wood... They kind of look like posts, but I think they call them wood planks. Uh, but we are delivering these almost to the exact same areas, so uh, the train is rather on the tricky side. So hopefully, I don't uh, I don't screw up and do what I did last episode, where I one got this stuck. I don't know what was it three times. One of them was just in the middle of an ice field, so that was uh, that one was kind of just bad driving on my part because <laughs> honestly it was yeah so so avoidable but anyways with this one uh right about now is where we start hitting the really rough terrain so we're gonna have to play this by ear and we're gonna have to uh try to figure out how to do this the least painful way um and right now Kind of thinking this is going to be the hard one. This is definitely going to be the harder one. Uh, there is a slight trail through here, so I'm thinking maybe I can just sneak up this way. You know what? Maybe I'll just I'll, I'll go this way and around, drop it off. We'll try to keep it. Um, as real as possible I guess um trying to keep to the trails and staying off of the the trees are what uh kill me a lot of the times on this map because they're they look like you can fit and then you just don't quite fit but we're in the uh we're in the very capable as off so we shouldn't have too big of an issue as long as I don't do anything stupid like roll over or get stuck or I guess I guess technically falling through the ice is the same as getting stuck but yeah we'll uh we'll see how it goes the sun is just coming up on this beautiful winter morning <laughs> sorry I had to throw some uh, realism in there and yeah I kind of I kind of decided that I'm gonna leave the HUD and the display on. I know a lot of other people kind of turn all that off, but I don't know. I just I feel like it's something that should be there after trying it without and uh, yeah, I just kind of prefer to have it on. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. So all right. Well, this was uh, almost too simple. I uh, <laughs> feel like I talked it up way too much. Yeah, so they're wooden planks. They uh, they definitely look like they're at least a 6x8. They don't look quite square. Uh, maybe they are square. So they're either a 6x6 six six or an 8x8. Eight eight. They look bigger. They look more like an 8x8. Eight eight, but anyways, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and close this and then we can uh, go ahead and drop it off right here. I'm not really sure why they decided to do the two different areas. Um, it seems like they could have just used the same, but yeah, whatever. There's a lot of things like that where I'm like, why did they decide to do it like this versus like that? And yeah, anyways, not overly important. Uh, we now have to go over here. So I think I honestly think the best route is to come down here. We'll drive through the ice. 
We'll swing up this way. Hopefully. That looks like it's going to be uh, quite interesting to get up there. And then hopefully. Hopefully we can get those uh, spare parts delivered. Because I, I believe this is the last. Absolute last task. On this map. The last one I found. Uh, so unless there's a hidden one that I haven't found yet. But I did use the radar. So I feel like. I feel like I would have found it, and I think I just saw this one. The abandoned convoy. Aww. That hurts a little bit. We still have another task after this one. <clears throat> and I have not found it yet, so we gotta go drive over there and unlock it. Which, uh, yeah, is, uh, you know one of those things I, I, I should have I should have seen it before I uh, or I don't I don't even know what I'm trying to say there I, I should have unlocked it when I was over there because I should have seen it something like that oh well it happens uh, let's no 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 This is, uh, very awkward. There we go. See, I almost, I almost screwed up there. I, I was lazy. I didn't want to back up because it takes a whole whopping two seconds to stop the truck and then throw it in reverse and back up. So I was just going to go straight through and I almost, almost lost it. I, I suppose the good news is, is if I were able to get back on the truck or uh, on the wheels and and get the crane, or basically have the uh, have the engine still running, I could have then used the crane to uh, pick pick up my uh, my pieces and and carry on. But luckily, we uh, we didn't tip over, and I was able to back out of it. So well, maybe, maybe I am getting better at this game. <laughs> maybe. Uh, Alright. Let's hang left here. This is where it's going to get ugly. And uh, apparently it's going to get very, very rocky. We've got rocks here. We've got boulders there. We've got cliff faces over there. And we've got literally a small little window to squeeze through. But you know what? You just, you take it slow. Easy does it. And, uh, yeah, it should be relatively, uh, no challenge. No, no, it's, it's still a challenge. It's just, uh, you don't make it harder on yourself because <laughs> when you try to fly through it you definitely you roll it you flip it you blow it up you burn it down all the all the other the above um so we can't really fit through here come on there we go i was just gonna start switching gears i mean yes no maybe the tree doesn't want to give out Come on, get those tires spinning. Hey, that's the that's the name of the original game was Spin Tire, so that kind of means something. Uh, we are so close to uh, probably flipping this thing over. <laughs> Come on, get up there, get up there, get in that box. There we go. Oh, yeah, it helps if you're. Am I not tracking it? Oh, yeah, it's not that box, it's that box, the one that you can barely see just straight ahead there. Alright, well, it doesn't look like it's uh, too complicated to get over there. Alright, 
What? That was weird. Uh, boom. All right, we are done. Ah, that was that was a lot of hard work. Um, <laughs> that actually only took about ten minutes to do. So, kind of kind of sad, uh, in a way. All right, so we have. Mm, yeah, all of our vehicles are over here. We don't. We got to get all the way over here to this abandoned convoy. I got a feeling we're going to need a large truck for this. Um, I, I, I feel like I'm in too deep here to just, you know, start from here and try to work my way over there. Um, so you know what? I'm going to recover this vehicle. I think here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw the low saddle on because my gut is telling me that it's a low saddle challenge. Um, if it's not, when we need the high saddle, uh, we will, well, we will return to the garage and pick the appropriate truck. If it is a, I don't think it's a, uh, task that we just completed where you have to bring a crate or two. Uh, so I don't think the flatbed would have helped us at all. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what this is. We'll take our typical sh shortcut to the, uh, I almost called it grass, to the ice <laughs> so that we can just basically cruise on through. And that should honestly not take that much time. Maybe five minutes or so. Uh, let me time it. It's just hit 12 minutes, so let's see how long it takes us to get over there. Because I'm not going to lie, this, this map looks like it's a lot bigger than what it is when you look at the map itself. But because of, and I, I think it's because of the ice, you can actually travel long distances pretty quick. So as long as you, uh, don't muck it up and uh, <laughs> end up sinking the truck in ice or sliding out of control and then hitting a bank and then rolling it, which I've done multiple times, uh, as you guys know. And uh, yeah, I, I I suppose I should probably throw out there that uh, I've, I've hit the 250 subscriber mark, so... That's a good sign. I must be doing something right. People are enjoying it, so that uh, that makes me happy. And uh, I hope that I uh, make you guys happy, or at least you know give you something to watch throughout your uh, day or whatever you might be doing. So uh, we are. We are kind of guessing at what direction we need to go. I think it's just straight up this way. I probably should look. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much. Pretty much up this way, isn't it? Yeah, it's right next to the log station. Which, I guess in hindsight, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have brought a truck that was geared for long logs, and then push comes to shove if I get there and... This task yeah, requires whatever truck it requires that's not a long log truck. Then at least I wouldn't have made a trip for nothing. <laughs> uh, but you know what? That's that's fine. It is what it is. We'll just gingerly make our way over there. Don't want to go this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna abort this. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna listen to my gut for once in my uh, career of snow runner.
Oh, now I don't know. Yeah, I think it's I think it's best to head up that road there and then cut through the factory thing in my bob, whatever that is. These uh these Russian maps are hard to <laughs> hard to remember what uh what building is where just because I think it's because it's just in Russian, so you don't you don't see it as you drive up to it. So it's it's harder to correlate the buildings with each other, but So we're finally almost there and I'm 99, I'm 99.999% sure that this will be our last task for this map. Not necessarily the region because uh, yeah, we still have another map to go to. There's only two maps in, in this region, so um, it's kind of nice. I, I, I kind of want to get out of the snow for a bit. Uh, have a nice little change of atmosphere. Um, I've never actually seen the next map, so I have no clue what to expect. So if you're following me because I'm an expert at this game, um, please don't because I'm not. <laughs> Although I do have a lot of time in it, I I don't I don't consider myself an expert at all. Uh, friends exploring an empty house in the north. He saw a truck, not a usual one. Looks like an army trailer train that has been there forever if you could get me the barrels from it you could keep the rest oh man i need the flatbed don't i all right let's accept it and see what we need to do yep we need the barrels of oil it's a flatbed uh so where do we gotta go what do we gotta do okay good we can uh Let's see. I don't think any of these trucks have a crane to it or a flatbed. I mean, that one is a crane. Ah, uh, trailer. You know what? I think I think we can do this. I think we can do this. We're going to take this. I, I want to say it's the smaller as off just because it's not as high. Uh, but I think it's a higher number. I, I believe this is the 7 series Azov, where the other one is the 5 series Azov. I don't ask me to remember what the actual numbers are. I mean, I'm lucky I, I know what uh, half my numbers that rely to me on an important day. Let's just say I'm, I'm, I'm shocked I know my phone number. <laughs> uh, so let's change it to that. Is that still running? Change back. Uh, yes, it is still running. I, I kind of wish it would stop running when you uh, switched vehicles just to make sure you don't waste. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can put some type of flight bed on this. Uh, a ramped flat bed. There's a smaller one. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Now, as long as this crane, and it should be able to, but as long as this crane, you know what? We need fuel. We need a lot of fuel. Um, let's stop the engine. We're going to switch back. Uh, not the dairy. Uh, we need the con? No, the... Not the Ford, the Caleb. That's what we need. Uh, we only have 21 gallons here. Does this, uh, one trailer have fuel? You know what? Not important. I can actually just buy a trailer fuel thing. Uh, what is that called? A trail, a fuel trailer? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Um, let's just buy you. We will actually go ahead and just refuel this vehicle. And then we will drag this through the mud, through the snow, through the trees. 
And yeah, we will refuel this truck. The 7 Series as all. Uh, stop engine, put on your parking brake, change trucks, and refuel. Uh, I'm glad I... I'm glad I noticed that before I took off, because that would not have been fun. <laughs> like I said, I think I'm getting better at this game. I think I finally understand how to play it. It's, it's only taken me 700,000 hours. And this is pretty much through mud. You know what? The uh, the Caleb's not that far behind, so if this does get stuck, yeah, we should we should be fine. It's been a while since I've uh, driven this path here, so I'm not 100% sure if I remember it, but I'm pretty sure it's icy, muddy, and uh, full of water. So yeah, we'll just kind of we'll kind of see what's going on. All right, here we go. I have a I have a serious question to ask you guys. How do you guys feel about film grain in these games? I am of opinion that um, I hate it. I hate film grain. I didn't buy, and unfortunately, I almost bought a 4K monitor, but I was gonna do. 4K main monitor, maybe do like a 32 inch and then have my two side monitors being 2K monitors at like 27 inches. I was going to do something like that, but then I just decided because the sale was too good on the 27 inches to get the, uh, to get three of the, uh, 2K monitors. Um, plus the guy at the computer store actually talked me out of buying, uh, 4K monitor. Which I was kind of shocked because, I mean, clearly that means that they don't work on commission. <laughs> but like, yeah, I would have spent more money on that one monitor. And I told them I had a 3080 uh, Ti, so I was like, yeah, the the graphics card is not an issue. But he still kind of talked me out of it. And um, I think he might have been full of crap because he said something about how you have to calibrate them every year or something like that. He said there was some type of maintenance thing that you had to do with them every year. And I'm like, I don't recall anyone ever telling me that. Um, okay, my, my crane controls just kind of went out of whack. Is that as low? Oh, that's as low as it can go? All right, we're gonna drop it and hope that's good enough. Uh, should be. Yay, it was. All right, but anyways, let me know if you guys have ever heard of anything like that. Um, I have not. I just thought, you know what? I've got the graphics card, why not upgrade from a, and, and I was going from a 1080p, uh, what was it? It was a really odd monitor, and I don't know remember why I bought it. It was curved, I remember that much. I actually sold them because... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they were just 1080p uh, monitors, but... I was going from that, and I was like, let's just go straight to 4K. And, uh, yeah. He talked me out of it, and I ended up spending... I think these... 120 hertz 2k 27 inch monitors were like 200 bucks a piece so I was like it's a lot of money to fork out all at once but I'm, I'm glad I did it because I I am the type of person my my personality I I need to do am I even going the right way I am going the wrong horrible 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 way aren't I yeah, this is where you have to cross the rock face. Uh, we're going to turn around. I, I was too busy talking about my monitors. 
Uh, but yeah, so anyways, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Darn it. Um, let's go straight through here. This looks like a nice little trail. Famous last words, right? Famous last words. Maybe we can just mow over some, you know, 20 year old pine trees. Actually, you know what? This this path wasn't too bad. I don't know where to go from here, but I, I suppose I'll just keep going around. Hmm. Yeah, now I've completely lost train of thought. Uh, monitors, the guy talking, or the guy talking me out of buying 4K monitor. Um, yeah, I don't remember, so. I suppose it, it's probably a good thing I didn't buy the 4K because I'm, I'm assuming a 4K encoding would take forever because right now, give or take an hour's uh, video at 2K, uh, 30 frames a second is, it usually takes about six to eight hours. So luckily I can, I can basically, uh, I gotta, I gotta mark this real quick. Way over here. <laughs> there we go. Now I have a, a general direction that I want to travel. Uh, but no, seriously, I um, I can I think I I think I've done six videos at once, and it's it does take a little bit longer. Like it, it pushes it to like ten to twelve hours per video, but I can do six videos at once. So it completely. Uh, whoa! Ooh, that was weird. It uh, completely makes sense when I have everything, and uh, uh, I was I was just about to say my dog seems to be freaking out over something, but I think she figured it out. <laughs> I think her ball got stuck somewhere, so <laughs> I was gonna pause real quick, but she seems to be um, satisfied now. So I'm thinking she got whatever she was uh, whining about taken care of. So, anyways. Um, again, I lost my train of thought. This is, uh, this happens to me all the time. It's, it's normal. Don't worry about it. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to hang left. I'm going to hang left, kind of go around the long way, but I know it's, it's more solid and it's, uh, it's a lot smoother. And if I pay attention to the ice color, I don't have to worry about falling through. Alright, so... We, uh... Yeah, it looks like we are on track to finish this uh, this task before this episode. So I think when we come back, we will be doing, in the next episode, we will be doing some uh, logging. And I kind of wish, actually, I, I severely wish I would have found a logging truck. Um, I don't know, is this, is this a logging truck? It seems like it's too long. To be a logging truck. I might have to uh, to look into that. My my dog is actually being quite annoying right now. She's making all sorts of noises, <laughs> trying to get my attention. Um, but unfortunately, she doesn't understand that I'm recording right now, so I just have to deal with it. She's been, uh, I was, I was away from home all day today, basically. So she, uh, she wasn't pent up because I don't, I don't crate her, uh, when I'm away. She has free roam of the house, but she was stuck inside the house. So to her, that was the, you know, the end of the world. And I'm like, could you imagine if you had to be crated all day, dog? Like, I don't mind doing it at night. It, I, it, I suppose it all depends on the dog. Um, my dog before her actually preferred to be created. It was weird. I would, I would start to go 
I would get ready to leave the house basically and the dog would just go lay down in her crate and and that was that so I probably could have left her out in fact I did once we got a little bit older um, I stopped creating her this dog though I'm like ever since she was a puppy I never created her I just she's never been she she did chew a couple pairs of shoes when she was a puppy and then she learned that those are not toys for her so but after that I've not had any issues this is a really great dog I love my dog anyways um <laughs> enough about my dog she probably would be the star of the channel though if I did uh if I did somehow incorporate her into it you know maybe I should get a uh little German Shepherd uh, sticker or something that I can use as a icon or put on my uh, my thumbnails because yes as you guys know that I I create well I say I create my own thumbnails they are AI generated so uh, but I do have to go in and do the title and the episode and all that fun stuff so I do you know I do spend some time on the thumbnails But yeah, I'm I'm super glad I don't have to actually sit there and hand draw all the all the weird or the yeah all the weird uh, images that I use. So I I suppose I'm part of the problem with the whole AI taking over the world thing. But uh, eh, you know what? It is what it is. I feel like I use it for uh, the purpose that it should be used for. Not necessarily stealing someone's likeness or using it to write your, you know, English lit paper for your, you know, final or whatever. Is this where I drop him off? No. Where do I drop him off? Yeah. You, you think I would know that by now? It's the, the little arrow that looks like it's pointing down. Alright. There they go. Look at that. So guess I didn't get to keep anything else. I mean, they made it sound like I had a job or something. Or a, uh, a vehicle that I could keep. But, you know what? I'll take 4750 bucks. That wasn't too shabby at all. Um, so we are miles away from a trailer depot. We have a scout flatbed. I left that one out there a while ago. Um, so yeah, let's let's think about this for a second. We need a truck that can do logging. So let's jump back to the garage. I'm going to go into the truck store. We're going to find the as off. See, that's an off. So two off roads and a heavy. Uh, let's preview this and let's see if we can do we can do a log so we do have a long log carrier and the crazy thing is is look at how much room I still have on the thing can I equip that and that I wish I could actually equip them that seems kind of silly that I could equip both but I mean, to tell you the truth, it looks like you should be able to, no problem. Oh yeah, I forgot that this truck had the long flatbed. What is that, three slots? One, two, three? Maybe four? Can you fit four on? That That seems kind of silly. Um, And then it also does medium and short, so you know what? I'm I'm okay with that, I think. I think we are going to uh, jump in the Azov 7 series. Do I want to? Should I? One of these days, I, I gotta return a, uh, a trailer instead of just leaving them where I feel like leaving them.
Although I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a pain in the butt to pick up logs. Like, this is where you pick up long logs, so I'm going to have to back it all the way out, or I'm going to have to drive through and turn around like I just did, and then load them up, which to me makes more sense. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do, and this is just... Um, This is just for fun, I guess. I don't really know what to do with this trailer. Do I really want to drive it all the way back? That's a long ways to hike it back. I, I wish they would have put a trailer store on this side of the map. They really needed one. I feel like it wouldn't be cheating either. All right, well, I suppose it is what it is. Do we have another trailer somewhere around here? There's so many ways I want to, like, not have to bring this trailer back. All right, you know what? Let's just do it. I probably would have been halfway there if I just did it and wasn't complaining. And I'm going to I'm going to double think about this. I might buy another one of these trucks. I don't think I have really another good logging truck. Does the dairy do logs? Alright, I might do some research. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring back the something that I haven't done in a while, which is use uh which is basically using um a road convoy or a road train and trying to get more than one mission done because I don't want to I don't want to have to bring three different logs to wherever I'm going I don't want to do three trips let's just make it nice and complicated for ourselves bring two trucks and uh, yeah we'll, we'll cut it down to Technically, two trips instead of three trips. That will uh, that will kind of satisfy my wants of not wanting to have to do three different separate trips. So yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. Um, oh yeah, headlights. There we go. That helps. I believe I'm going the right way. It's kind of funny because I don't honestly, I usually don't drive back to the garage, so I don't remember. Uh, go figure. Where are we? Where, where, what is our whereabouts? Okay, so I definitely want to go that way. Nope, I want to go this way. We got to go more to the left. What are we looking at? What What's our miles per hour? Or is it in kilometers? Yeah, it's in kilometers per hour. So we're doing... 35, 37 kilometers an hour. That seems... hella slow, <laughs> to, to say the least. Like, if I was driving my truck 37 kilometers an hour, I would, uh... I wouldn't even be in a neighborhood residential zone uh, because those are all 40. They're 40 to 50, uh, give or take, depending on how you convert it. Uh, so yeah, we are driving nice and slow. I'm not even sure why they... Uh, why they allow or have the uh, the truck going up to 100, 125. Could you imagine if you could actually do that in this game? If they allowed you to travel that fast, um, 
that would change the whole aspect of the game because the amount of times you would just end up flipping it or crashing horribly and everything go awry I almost wonder if it would make it harder let me know in the comments what you guys think if you think it would be harder to play the game if you uh, could actually drive say even 80 kilometers an hour is this the way is that the way I go well, that that's rough I'm kind of shocked the truck can get up that way uh, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think if it would be harder. I wonder if there is a mod. I bet you there is a mod that allows you to do real truck speeds. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be kind of insane. The trailer store is at the dock, so we will uh, take this over to the trailer store and get this sorted. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna double check and make sure that we don't have some other type of logging truck that we can use along with this one because I, I like the idea of having a set logging truck where this may be the only truck that I can think of off the top of my head that can do all three logs usually you know you can do short and mediums but you can't do longs or you can do longs and not short and mediums do we have oh we have we have a lot of vehicles over here. I should probably, uh... Yeah, I should probably take care of these guys and, and clean up my mess. Alright, so that was $3,400. That was well sent, spent. Uh, but let's see here. Let's recover. Uh, let's get this kitted out for logging. Wait, no, I did have that crane on it. Okay, good. So yeah, it does definitely look like you can do the log loader. I'm not going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go with that. There's the other two logs that you can load. I keep forgetting this has such a long. Long bed on it, so all right, let's uh, we're going to go with that one. This one is clearly not going to happen. This one, I don't believe you have any logging. Oh, wow. What? All right, cool. Um, I wish this was a fuel tanker. I'm not going to lie. I wish it was a fuel tanker. Unfortunately, that's all you get for a fuel tanker. Um, yeah, I don't remember this truck being a, uh, logging truck, but surprise. And I do three trucks at once. I don't think it, I don't think it's going to be possible. So let's, uh, go ahead and leave the garage. We're going to go back to the garage. These portable cabins. Yeah, these are the ones that didn't disappear after I completed the task. Uh, that's obviously not going to do any logging. Leave the garage with that one. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant job. Okay, let's try that again. And change trucks. Drive this one forward. Now I opted not to put chains on this one, but uh, the other truck does have chains, so we can we can switch back and forth if need be. Uh, let's go ahead and attach the winch, and let's go get our uh, let's go get our uh, trailers. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll get the trailer set up, we'll get the trucks probably on the ice. Oops, a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage there, no, no big uh, But we'll, we'll get the trucks out on the ice and probably get them close to heading over to pick up the logs because uh, yeah we've got about 15 minutes left 
before we hit an hour or so. I think that might be a good stopping point. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about you know whether I'm right at one hour or over one hour or I'm short an hour. I'm just gonna stop the episodes when uh, when they seem adequate to stop the episodes. Right, let's detach the one trailer. All right, you know what? Um, let's change trucks real quick. We got we got a lot of trucks in the way, so let's uh, recover that. Let's go to the map. Is it? No, nope, not the Azov. That one. The dairy. You can go back to the garage. Uh, the Caleb, the Caleb's not anywhere over there. That staying, the Zika staying, the Ford, you can go back to the garage. Is that the last one that's over here? Yes, I do believe that. Alright, let's go to the, uh, the Zeke's. And long. Like, that's the thing. The distance between the log holders uh, is shorter than the distance between the, my cab and the uh, the end of my truck, so... Ooh, I probably did I would I would have made that. Oh, man. Can I just pick up long logs here? No, why not? That's not fair. Alright, let's uh, change trucks. Let's go get the trailer for this thing. Alright, there we go. We've got at least two loads that we can do. There isn't a way that I know of how we could do three loads at once. Uh, the only way I think we could do it, which would be a nightmare, uh, because you can't keep two of the trucks tied together. Um, so you would just have to have the three trucks and every once in a while go back and drive each truck forward and just drive a little bit and switch, drive a little bit and switch. Um, yeah, that sounds like it would be almost more of a nightmare, uh, but I wonder if it would be. I wonder if it would be that bad. Uh, we gotta go straight up there to pick up the logs. And then the next episode we get to go to Amindra. Amidra? Amidra? Is the eye silent? It's just Mandra? Mandra? Amidra? I don't know. I'm horrible at pronouncing names. Alright, so it definitely looks like the other truck is faster. But uh, yeah, we won't uh, we won't worry about that too much. I've got six gears in this thing, so how many gears you got in that? Four? <laughs> yes, I'm having a competition with myself. So where are we at? Yeah, let's let's get down to the ice. I'm sure this will be enough of a struggle as it is. I'm so shocked that I can get up and over that. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't look like it should be able to make that ground clear. But yeah, this the the Zeke's is a lot higher. Well, I don't want to say a lot higher, but it is higher than the uh the Azov 7 series behind us, so that uh definitely makes a difference.
All right, so I think, yeah, I think this might be a good time to stop it. Uh, we're gonna basically stage here for the night. We're gonna skip to the morning and uh, yeah, we're going to take off in the next episode uh, for Amidra. And hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, then I guess let me know in the comments and hopefully I can uh, pronounce it based on the way you phonetically spell it. So <laughs> we will uh, see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did and uh, drop me a comment and let me know how I'm doing. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.